Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Monsies, <coughs> I, I just want to ask you as, as yes or no questions, but when you say I don't know and you actually know, it's actually lying too. So I just want you to know that. If you say you don't know something, but you actually do, it's the same thing as a lie. I just want you to know that. So Mr. Monsies, when the extent of your epidemic became clear and federal health agencies pointed to Juul as the source of the problem, your actions did not seem to grasp the urgency of this problem. Instead, you simply transitioned to marketing Juul as a healthy alternative to cigarettes for smokers to, quote, switch to. Um, if we can put up the, right behind me, you see it says smoking, I just want to ask you this, yes or no. Smoking means cigarettes, correct? Correct. And switch means jewel, correct? Correct. After 30 lines starting with quit, the ad says switch, followed by no further mentions of start smoking again. You are a smoker. Does this ad give a smoker hope that there might be a way to quit cigarettes for, for good? I think the intention of this ad is to make it very clear to consumers that there is an alternative, finally, to combustible cigarettes. I'm one of those people. Do you agree that the ad conveys that, there, that your product can help smokers quit smoking cigarettes? No, I, I think what the ad is trying, what we tried to convey with this ad, to the best of my knowledge at least, is this is the pattern We're of action. We're trying to get away to, uh, around FDA regulations, Mr. Monsies. No. But the FDA regulates smoking cessation devices, the things that actually help people quit smoking. But Juul has avoided explicitly calling itself a sensation device, which Juul believes helps it avoid this particular FDA regulation. Mr. Monsies, I imagine that you chose your words very carefully in these ads. Yes or no, did your lawyers tell you that this ad was not claiming to be a therapeutic sensation device? We do yes not no. claim broadly. Your lawyers, the, did your lawyers say that this does not convey that? I'm giving you an even broader answer here. We do not claim for Juul to be a cessation product. Yeah. If, and let me tell you exactly why. The, the history of cessation products have extremely low efficacy. That's the problem we're trying to solve here. So if we can give consumers an alternative and market it sure. right next to other cigarettes, then we can actually make something yeah. work. Prohibition targeted children to do that too. Did your lawyers tell, the, tell you that the words switch and switching were not therapeutic sensation claims? I, I, not, I, I don't recall exactly uh -huh. what our lawyers... Are you allowed to us. say that your products are healthier than cigarettes? I believe in these chambers we are allowed to do You're so. You're allowed to say it here. Got it. Mm -hmm. You must feel really constrained right now. Ma'am. If you say that your products help people quit smoke, quit cigarettes, the FDA would regulate you. And if you say your products are safer, the FDA would regulate you. You created an enterprise markets team of at least 20 people to pitch Juul to companies and insurers to help their employees stop smoking and supposedly lower their health care costs. You hired Douglas Roberts, a former health care executive, to run that team. Why would employers or insurers partner with Juul unless you are conveying that Juul is effective for smoking sensation or safer than cigarettes? I, I think the real opportunity here is to improve the lives of a billion people worldwide and work together to make sure But why would Juul sure tell employers and insurers about supposed health benefits of Juul? Look, I, I just explained that. There's an opportunity here for public health. Why would insurance companies not want to explore all options option. to save people's lives? But you're not telling. So if you made the direct statement to the U.S. government that your products were smoking sensation devices or, what you've been telling these other folks, healthier than cigarettes, you would expect to be regulated that day, wouldn't you? I, I, I can't state more emphatically, Juul is specifically and on purpose not a cessation product. On June 14, Juul sent a letter to the U.S. Trade Representative about Trump's tariffs on lithium batteries, which are used in your products. You state, quote, imposing a 25% duty on Juul's portable charging case will indirectly increase the cost of health care. Leveling an additional duty would cause undue harm to American consumers who are hoping to improve their lives by reducing or eliminating the use of tobacco products. Making Juul's product cost prohibitive may in turn lead them to revert to the use of tobacco products, which may increase the cost of health care to consumers as well as US, U.S. health insurers. How are those not direct claims that your product is a smoking sensation device and healthier than cigarettes? Mr. Monsies. 
I'm sorry, I, I've never seen that document before. Of course not. I, and I, Mr. Chairman, if I may, let's just be clear. One model found that every one adult that successfully switched, switched cigarettes to e-cigarettes eventually not, event, to eventually non-use of any nicotine product, 81 adolescents, <coughs> teens, like my son behind me, young adults that try e-cigarettes will eventually become daily smokers by the age of 40. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman, for doing this hearing and for your leadership on this issue.